Hello and welcome to the Founders Chat. Today's discussion will be about artificial intelligence and the impact of deep fake technology on the world of online video. Buckle up, things are about to get weird. Hey, shout out to Tommy. Thanks for that great intro. <laughs> things are about to get weird. Things are about to get weird up in here. Things are, things are real, real weird. <laughs> Tell us about what the hell that was. <laughs> sure, please. sure. So welcome to Founders Chat, where we talk about whatever the heck we want. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you just saw an intro from our buddy Tommy. The, Tommy, shout the, out. The deep fake <laughs> ambassador to, <laughs> to Sightbox. Uh, we've actually been working uh, with one of our clients, one of our uh, portfolio companies, and they wanted to do a bunch of uh, videos, like, you know, kind of the talking head type thing. And uh, anyway, we happened upon this tool, and so we're sort of testing it out. And needless it's to say, bad, it's, it's kind of it's creepy good. It's not bad. I mean, if you had told me back then, like, what, what are you going to do with deep fakes besides, like, impersonate mm -hmm. celebrities like someone actually said no we're gonna do explainer videos <laughs> and built a whole tech stack well the key it. is the whole tool around it yes and how easy it, it is yeah it's the ease of use and drag and drop and yes it's like building slides yes and just typing text right yeah it was like doing a powerpoint slide in fact it was somewhat easier because you the person took up half the screen Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like, okay, you only get a little bit of mm -hmm. room to, you know, mess things up. Yeah. So it's really, it's, what are, it's what are they smart. called on the, what, what the, are, the tool it's called since, since synthesia, 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 were they on the startup countdown? I can't remember. I can't remember. I think I actually saw this at that, like them advertise on LinkedIn or mm. something. I think that's actually how I saw it. So. But it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Yeah, the person talks, gestures, everything. Yeah. No, it's it's. You can it's you can change the language. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's actually it's kind of creepy. How it's creepy? How uh, real it looks. What's crazy is, the, visual is so convincing. It's actually the audio at that point. Mm -hmm. That seems like the weakest link right now. How funny is that? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Because you had to, you had to like. Obviously, my name is not easy by by any means to pronounce, but you had to type it the way you, Phonetically. you were pronouncing it. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it said it. It did say it. Yeah. yeah, but here's the funny thing. So before you saw it, I had a, a version of it that said, introduced Tommy as as Hi, I'm Charlie Hinojosa. <laughs> <laughs> the, the and it got flagged, box. right? Yeah, and it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't process it mm -hmm. uh, because it read the text and it understood. Oh no, you're you're saying this is a person right right and it and it wouldn't let it it wouldn't process so they've actually kind of that's that's good safeguard yeah yeah you know i think bad. that's legit mm -hmm. so um speaking of sort of the ai deep fake world have you seen anything about this the dolly 2 project no where there have you guys seen this where essentially you can type in like show me or uh, draw or you know do a painting of a cat on a mountaintop with a you know christmas hat or a Santa hat on and it will generate that image like as legit as you can imagine like you can say make it photorealistic you can say make it a watercolor painting and it does it you haven't seen this no oh dude it's gonna blow your mind it's crazy it's creepy what what's the purpose it's just sort of to demonstrate um, I think it's the open AI mm -hmm. algorithms and how stuff fast like does it do it it seemed like it was doing it almost in real time like hit enter like it was just and it was spitting out like someone did like an avocado chair as a demo and it came back with like 30 chairs shaped like different avocados and different chair types and it's that's bizarre. crazy man yeah yeah it's like like between these two things i'm just like whoa maybe we are getting in a little <laughs> over our head you know what i mean because at some point like that question of believability oh and there was a demo i saw the other day for unreal engine 5 I saw this. Have you seen this? Yeah, it was like in the dark and then yes. light and dark. Like yeah. They were switching. It just looked like footage in a camera. Yeah, it looked like a, a real photo. footage. Yeah, or like a video. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> that that's creepy. That's when this metaverse stuff st starts to, I don't know. I, I'm pretty skeptical about it with just the, the, the headset sort of yeah. 
part of that, not really the virtual world part of it, more of like the experience of using the Oculus or whatever it's mm-hmm. going to be. I'm skeptical because we do it all the time, right? Gaming and whatever. Yeah. And it's just like you don't spend more than 10, 15 minutes right. on it. Right. And it's mostly cartoony avatar right. stuff. But if it gets to that, I mean, that's that's different, man. That's different, right? That's way different. And I can see, too, like a lot of people sort of are turned off by the cartooniness of, mm-hmm. of VR yep. for the most part right now. I can see if, if that becomes sort of how it's presented, that's when I think mass adoption happens. Because then at that point, like you, you're not having to sort of use your imagination mm-hmm. like it's it's almost yeah like imagine buying there. real real estate in yeah. the virtual world like yeah have a ready player one a view that matters right? yeah yeah right rooftop yeah. overlooking some crazy thing yeah. seaside views yeah. Yeah. not yeah. some Ocean views you know other side yeah some pixelated island. box off in the distance that yeah. you know yeah yeah it's gonna get cre- it's gonna get weird bro it is I wonder if gaming companies like uh, like Unreal yeah would venture into I think they more would, uh, than just console type. right well there's so there's Valve right which they make a VR headset and they make they're the ones who own um Steam mm-hmm. so that whole marketplace um I don't think they make <laughs> my favorite quote about Steam is from the founder was um we used to make video games but now we make money <laughs> <laughs> now we make money <laughs> that's nice so um but i know they're sort of we used to build websites <laughs> yeah, yeah right <laughs> uh, now, now we build startups yeah yeah exactly so anyway so the whole uh the whole thing around um the ga- world of gaming that's going to really bring it out too there's actually a demo out there somewhere of uh the matrix like someone built like a matrix world and you get to be like neo and like fly around or something in it and it's built in unreal 5 and it's it's stupid it's stupid cool Dang. so anyway cool stuff it's, it's cool man it's, it's happening fast too so i have no segue so yes um <laughs> How about the stock market? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about the stock market? How about that? Yeah. Um, How about those investments? Yeah. So I'm just looking at my watch list right now in, in Gemini. Oh, yeah. Um, Bitcoin is at, as we speak, 30,300. <laughs> it, it dipped under uh, 29 last night. Yeah. And I was texting family and friends, anyone who I thought might listen to me. And I said, buy some Bitcoin tonight. Mm. And nobody responded to my text. Aww. <laughs> but I just want it on record so that 10 years from now, <laughs> when everybody says I should have bought yeah. Bitcoin, I could say, remember, I have the text. Yeah. I, I told you, buy remember it. Remember in 2022? I told you, buy it. This was your chance. This was your chance. Um. All of the other ones are pretty much, everything's tanking right now. Yeah. Tell me about, what was it, Solana? I don't know much about that one other than I heard it crashed or something. Okay. Something went. Something, wrong, yeah, wrong something it. something went down. Um, what I do know vaguely, um, and I mean, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just Google it. Um, somebody else will give you the actual <laughs> rundown, but... Uh, the um the other side uh sort of the whole land grab there with these are this is these are the guys who um who do the board apes yeah which are like probably the hottest nft right next to like the uh crypto punks and whatnot but i think the apes are probably the top nft right now so they did these these this world call some their metaverse mm. it's called the other side and um they did a land sale and it was ridiculous. I, I saw it, a few people I follow on Twitter talking about getting in there and getting in. A couple guys actually bought land and were happy about it. So I'm like, I, oh, hey. I, I'm going to check this out. Sure. I'll go in there. Yeah. And 
some some stuff was seven figures already. Um, the cheapest that I could find, I think, was about five ETH, something like that. Okay. Which, what is that? Twelve grand. Something like that. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, I'm. I don't. I, I don't believe in it that much. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there'll be some winners in that, but essentially, there's, there's. I don't know, man. Like. It's cool if, if, if I was sitting on hundreds of thousands of dollars of crypto that I've made over, you know, investing early and just, you hey, want why not? But backing it with cash, which is what I would be doing. Yeah. Is not something that no. I would do. Not, not, not at that sort of floor price. No. It's just too much. But anyways, I think it bogged the system down. Okay. People trying to buy it. Uh-huh. And it, <laughs> and it screwed some people up where they weren't able to. But the gas, they still burn gas fees, mm. like a lot. And so this company started refunding people. I think, I don't know how they did it, but apparently they started, because they made so much money off this land sale, like ridiculous amount of, amounts of money, like hundreds of millions of dollars, I think. That's crazy. And a, a land or, it's like, an, they look like islands. Okay. And then they're, there's different, like, I think, uh, minerals and different things kind of like minecraft mm-hmm. where it's like different parts are made of different things so yeah. depending on what you have there might be a rare material there mm. or, and then there's these like little characters that could be hidden in there that get revealed not sure how mm-hmm. uh, it's supposed to be a, obviously a 3d game but there's no game yet so you're really just getting the the token right to be able to I'm assuming when the game comes out, you be able to inhabit like your own land. Yeah. And then your character would be there if, if you got one. Yeah. Um, anyways, it's like a lottery. So people were kind of looking amazing. at it a little bit sideways just from that perspective. Right. Not being able to really choose so much. You're just yeah. really guessing. It's lottery. Wow. That's crazy. And then those people were flipping, of course. Yeah. So it just, it got crazy. You know what I'm just as you're talking, dude. Imagine, imagine a version of that for like uh, Civilization, the game. I never got into that. I've seen you play it. Yeah. So imagine where like you buy Do you that own land. any land in that game? Well, as a so you start out as a like a civilization with like a little village, and then you you can found other villages, and you just expand over time but this is in a centralized world yeah it's in a and it's a made-up world right so it, but is it a centralized world that everyone shares you can yeah you can no well you can you can set up a game in like multiplayer like you can play with like seven eight people i never do because it it's weird playing online mm-hmm. but yeah you can and then you can you know but imagine like owning that like money anteing in mm. like i'm gonna buy this and someone can rip it away from me if I lose the game, you know, like, and here comes some global empire going around, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Here comes Microsoft, yeah. like, <laughs> nuking everybody. Yeah. You know? That's some Ready Player One stuff. Yeah, man. exactly. That's kind of creepy. whole corporation trying to win the game. Yes. Dude, it's totally it. That was, that was the premise, wasn't it? It totally was. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I could, I could see that. I could see that kind of being a way to sort of, ant, you know, get people excited about it, especially yeah. with, with, with crypto. Right. Cause you'd be like, all right, if you win this, you know, cause if I, if I invade another country or whatever, you know, I take over those cities and I make that money. Totally. Anyway, what's on the Elon watch? Five minute warning. Here. Five minute warning. <laughs> Uh, Other than he said that today, breaking news, uh-huh. that uh, he would let Trump back on Twitter. Oh, he would, yes, he would allow him back. <laughs> but Trump has said he's he's all in on Truth Social. Yeah, yeah. I guess for as long as Truth Social <laughs> sticks around. Yeah, exactly. I can see that sort of slowly. But he but he also said he he's enjoyed the 
the break the time off yeah he's enjoyed not having trump on on twitter oh elon yeah. has yeah oh i was gonna say i thought you meant trump no no, like, no elon like imagine all the time trump saved <laughs> or spent on twitter spent. bro yeah. as president now Jeez. he's like ah oh. <laughs> can you imagine having the itch dude i got i got banned the other day on reddit for what <laughs> for uh on one of the subreddits oh, i was mouthing off to somebody and I got busted. They flagged you or something? Yeah. <clears throat> I got warned by the mod. They're like, only warning. <laughs> and I kind of. <laughs> only warning. Only warning. You get one warning. And then the, a couple days and later. you kept got, going? Or it was over the it was, same It was comment. the next day or something. I got so, on someone else. I was totally, you know, going after someone else. And, oh, gotcha. And you. I think they have a way of saying like, okay, the mods have a marker on me. Like he's, an, he's been warned. And Repeat offender. Yeah. They're like, yoink. Perma for how ban. long? Perma. What? Yeah. Well, it's only in one subreddit. So. Oh, got you. So yeah. you get perma banned from that, that subreddit. Only. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. So. So I kind of I can empathize now. Like all these people who are like permanent, getting, getting canceled, getting their TikTok accounts canceled, yeah. all the you know Twitter stuff. I'm like, it it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a little bit, right? You're just it like stings. your ego takes a little uh -huh. bit of a hit, and then. On top of it, you're just like, oh, you know. Did you act? Did you violate though? Rules? Do you think? Yeah, you did. Well, because you, you know, it, you can you can sort of go into you can have heated arguments about things, but you can't n go after particular users by name, sort of thing. You can't mm. really. Like, and I just I just made some, I just did some cut downs that <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have made. <laughs> anyway, I I know I deserved it, but anyway, it it still stung nonetheless. Nonetheless, Man. so I haven't been on there in a while. Yeah, my favorite's the roast roast me. Yes, so good. Yeah, Reddit is just full of smart asses, really. And, oh yeah, and yeah, the roast me is probably like the the epitome of that. Yeah, like that's competition for smart asses. Yes, yes, yeah. So, yeah, it's a good, it's a fun space. Um, there was a thing with Elon though too. I don't know if you saw this, so. He so he sent out those satellites to yes Starlink Starlink stuff and apparently Russia isn't too happy about this right and they've made some sort of threat that the people involved will have to pay yeah something like this yeah because I saw him tweet about if, if yeah. he ends up dead or yeah something. so so Elon something like if I ever die from mysterious circumstances yeah. or something like that you know why <laughs> and everyone was like oh my god what happened yeah you know what's going on and anyway it comes back to this whole Russian threat but. There, it's hilarious, dude. Like he gets so into funny. that Russian stuff. Like, what was it? Didn't they call it? Didn't they? Ca they called the sh the space shuttle or his his rocket something, and he like they even said it on one of the launch videos. I forget what it was. Mm. Something about a trampoline or mm. anyway. He just he just pokes it. Oh Russia, yeah, just jokes does. at right at them. You yeah, know, to their face. Doesn't even care. <laughs> no care. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> Who does no that? care in the world. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, all let's right. wrap it up. Thanks, yeah, everybody, for watching. It. Thanks, Tommy, for the Go intro. Go buy some Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Later. <laughs> Is Tommy going to do our outro? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Yeah. So, uh, subscribe, uh, like, <laughs> like, share, share and follow. follow. Yeah. <laughs>